Guys, they said Olori Elizabeth gave Olori Calabash serious warning about Tadenikawo as she volunteers to raise him. According to what we are hearing, they said uh, Olori TikTok and the Blow Blow was fighting over who would take uh, raise Tadenikawo for KBS and who will not raise Tadenikawo for KBS. Then the next thing they saw was uh, Olori Calabash sending in their group chats you know they have this uh wives uh group and as a whatsapp group that was where they said she posted that uh she was the one who raised uh princess diola when diola's mother uh brought diola to kbc that then Diola was still young and small. She was the one who took care of uh, Diola in UK until Diola become of age. That if she can do it, then what is stopping her from doing it right now? And now that she have two kids already, at least Aden Tadenikawo is not going to be that difficult for her. That she is going to raise Tadenikawa very well and in a very uh, good place like UK. <laughs> that even KBSC testifies that she raised uh, Diola very well. You know, that uh, she is the right person that can raise uh, Tadenikawa. And information have it that the reason why they are dragging who raised today and who will not raise today is because of the fact that, assuming finally today was in, uh, is given to is given to her to raise, KBSC will always visit, you know, and we all know that they are yearning for KBSC's presence because most times, from month to month, they don't have uh, they don't see opportunity. To spend time with KBS, but the moment any one of them take Tadenikawo in, a KBS will always visit that person, just like the way she, he is always visiting Akure to go and see Tadenikawo and spend time with him, you know. So uh, that was what they said. Uh, Olori Kalabash posted in their group WhatsApp, and they said. Uh, Dr. Lizzie asks Olori TikTok. So now that she is alive, healthy, and doing well, if maybe uh, the father of that child, okay, that's her daughter. Remember, there was a time they said the man who impregnated her, and the father of her daughter came to take custody of that baby. She knew how much she fought then. And I, don't, I think KBSC later got involved that made her win that case. I don't know how, how that thing went. But during that time, she was always crying, begging KBSC to please interfere. So that was what they said. Dr. Elizabeth, Dr. Elizabeth asked her, how did you feel then? Your daughter is older than uh, Tadenika. Hmm? So if KBSC decide that this baby you are carrying today, that you are going to return it to him and you will not be, be the one taking care of it. How are you going to feel? That sometimes when you people think and behave, you behave that a kind of wickedness have overclouded your sense of reasoning. That what makes you think that Kwenomi is going to give up on Tadenikawa just because of this nonsense that you people are talking or whatever. They said Dr. Elizabeth was very, very mad at uh, Olori Kalabash for posting that thing there. You know, Blow Blow and Olori TikTok that was talking about it, they did not make a post. And you know that reading something is something hmm, that you don't, I don't know how to say it. Most of them might decide to share that information as in to other people. And in lifetime, you might be able to get that post. And if Tadenika grows up to see such a post, you don't <laughs> anyways the kind of hatred that she will have he will have for olori tiktok olori both olori tiktok and the rest of them who wants to take care of him while the mother is there 
is not going to be a, a good thing, you know. So they said Dr. Elizabeth told her that it's because you people really want to Naomi, want to buy her, you want to have an opportunity to buy her. Who, who, how sure are we even sure that if that is given to you, you're not going to buy her so that your son will remain the crown prince that you have been dragging even when you know that he is not. That, can be a, that is going to be the greatest mistake of his life thinking that he will collect Tade Nikawo and give to any one of you to raise that that is not going to happen, that she is going to stand by with Naomi and make sure that Kabiyasi does not succeed in that. Hmm. One thing I do know about Dr. Elizabeth from all we have been hearing about her is that in as much as she's not a noisemaker, she doesn't support Kabiyasi's uh, decision against with Naomi and Tade Nikawo. And this Decision of taking Tade Nikawo against uh, away from Kwenami is a very bad decision. And if Dr. Lizzie have her way, she's going to fight KBSC and ensure that that did not happen. You know, but to me, let me just be sincere with you. Even after hearing all of this news, I don't believe that KBSC mean it. The only thing I'm thinking is that KBSC wants to use that to get Queen Naomi, knowing fully well that there is nothing. On this planet Earth, that will make Queen Naomi give up on Tade Nikau. Mm -mm. She can never do that. Tade is Queen Naomi's life, you know. So she will do everything within her power to protect her child. Kabiyasi is just saying that to see if she will succumb. But let's just watch and see. Queen Naomi, on the other hand, is not easy. She's not a uh, an easy nut to crack, you know. So, all these Oloris are just making noise. Because to me, that is what it is. They are just making noise. Because even if uh, 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 Queen Naomi, even if KBC like, let him start a uh, case and everything, he cannot take Tade Nikawa away from Queen Naomi now. And come, what's come to us, Queen Naomi will come. And when she come, ha, there are many ways to buy her to ha. Even if she decides not to return back to that palace, Kabiyasi can never take Tade Nikawo away from him. The only thing is that Kabiyasi might, might restrict, his, uh, uh, restrict her movement, maybe traveling outside the country for the meantime. And with time, she will still be traveling. You know? That is what they said uh, is happening between the Oloris, that Dr. Elizabeth was so angry over that post by uh, Oluri Kalabash. And one thing about her is that she likes to write a piece to all in the name of Post. Because they said what she wrote there, how she was able to raise Diola, how she was there for KBSC, how she was even there before Kwenami came, how she stood by Kwenami. Even when she gave birth, she was there to help him, to help her not shut that day and everything. And I was like, is it not the same person we heard that tried as much as possible to stop Kwenami from conceiving. But God shamed her. Hmm? Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.